YouTube! How you guys doing today? It's Mike Pratt Family Homestead. Today, we're gonna make sour pickles. I have been into fermenting now for, I don't know, about a year. Well, I'm not into it. I keep trying new things and I keep playing with it. I definitely am not an expert on it, just like anything else. But um, if you remember, we had our carousel package that went around about a year. Well, it wasn't our carousel package, but it stopped at our house. And I took, I got this book right here. Wild Fermentation. I got that out of the book and uh, out of the carousel package and I'm pretty sure Amy Fuel put that in there. I have talked to Amy Fuel from the uh, uh, Fuel Family Homestead. I have talked to her quite a bit about fermenting and things that I might be doing wrong and just answering questions. She's been a great resource. Um, but I took this book out of there and I have been trying lots of stuff. Um, I believe out of this book is where I started doing sauerkraut and the kids and I love the sauerkraut. So. But this is all about sour pickles. And um, there's some things, I'm not, um, see this is a, a pay for recipe kind of, so I'm not really inclined to give you exact measurements, exactly what the recipe does, but you can watch me make it. I hope that makes sense to you. Um, kind of like uh, Andrew and I did the video on making donuts, but I didn't tell you our Half Acre Homestead's recipe, but I linked the video for you to go watch her video, right? So. This is where I'm getting the recipe out of. Come along. You'll see me make the sour pickles and you'll see the kids and Jenny do a little taste test as well, all right? All right, come on, let's go do this. Hey boys. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna make some more sour pickles. <laughs> but I need you guys to go get me maybe two things of garlic out of the barn. Getting some garlic for the sour pickles. We got some huge garlic. Girls? Yeah? Can you guys go do me something? Yeah. Go do me a favor? Would you guys go get me maybe six, eight, Maybe eight or ten grape leaves. So Gooby already got a grape leaf and she's gonna get some more. Go ahead, get some more. There's two, two, one more. Okay, good job. Got three grape leaves. Here's one of my grape leaves. So they have now one. I'm gonna go ahead and get three. There we go. And now one more. Now they have three ones. And now us are done. Alright, so I've washed my cucumbers, I've washed my grape leaves. We've got, uh, we're gonna put some peppercorn in and some dill. Uh, these are gonna get a salt water solution, a salt water brine of um, three tablespoons per half gallon. Um, I think I've mentioned it. I am using um, uh, dar cucumbers today. I have not used these ones before. Um, and then our other ones uh, that I have been using are up there they are the monica cucumbers um so let's get busy on this i think the easiest way to do this you put a couple leaves in the bottom i've washed these leaves off already as i said let's see i think and i'm also probably i haven't done this before but i think i'm gonna save a leaf to put on top as well to help hold everything under all right and then, um, see I got this split up, put some garlic in here. Um, some peppercorn. Some dill. It calls for quite a bit more dill than you might think. But I'll show you me putting in one, almost one tablespoon here. Okay, we have used fresh 
Um, I might as well do the other one as well. We have used fresh dill as well. And then we just start dropping these in, but I like to kind of have some order to it. So that's a little bit easier to get a whole bunch packed in here. I don't want them sticking all the way to the top. There needs to be a little headroom. I mean, this isn't canning, but when you ferment and stuff, it'll actually start bubbling up. And if you're filled to the very top, it'll start overflowing like crazy, which may happen here. Let's see. I'm gonna try and use some shorter ones to keep filling in. That one's full, so here's what happens. I'm gonna put, well, hold on. I've already got some solution made here. Let's go ahead and pour it in. I'm gonna have to make some more. All right, so I mixed up some more uh, some more brine. Um, we're just gonna top this off. So yeah, I, I know I'm gonna have a mess on my hands later. We want it completely covered. There it is. I know it's going to be boiling up, bubbling up like crazy. I haven't done this before, but I'm going to put this leaf in here on top. When I put this weight in, it's going to uh, overflow. I'm sure of it. So I might actually have to keep an eye on this and add some brine over the couple days because it will, I guess, evaporate and it will bubble out but uh, here's what those pickle pebbles come in um, I've already got one out it's right here it was here and let's just set it on top nice and easy it's kind of easy for it to get away from you like that um, and that is filled now this is called the pickle what's that called the pickle pipe so you just put it in your mason jar like that and put it on. When it starts fermenting in a couple days and it'll start bubbling like crazy in, I don't know, as little as two days, two, as little as two or three days, it will allow air to come up out of here, but this hole stays closed unless there's pressure and air coming out. I've also had great success with using coffee filters and other stuff. A lot of people will just burp theirs every day. I'm not, I can't pay attention to detail that close. I, I will never, um, I'll have these jars end up blowing up on me if I was responsible for burping them every day. So let's get this jar filled up too. All right, so I finally got this one filled up here. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put a grape leaf on top. So what I found is as this tries bubbling, I don't know if this grape leaf will help or not, but a lot of this dill that you see floating will get just caked on around the rim. And I mean, it's no big deal. I wipe it off and I put it back in there, but let's just see if that helps. And uh, go ahead and put this in there. There we go. And it's just coming over this um, uh, pebble. Um, so, and we'll do the same thing here. Now, what I'm gonna do. All right, so I know I also know a lot of people throw other stuff in here. I think um, a post in the uh, Bonterre Homestead Friends uh, that Nunder runs. I think we we're having a discussion with Stephanie Noose and Amy Fuel and Mark Bracy from uh, Bumblebee Junction. Um, Amy Fuel is saying she puts other stuff in hers as well. I mean, just throw stuff in. You don't even gotta have a recipe. Just throw it in there. Throw some mustard seed, uh, some coriander, I think she said. Oh, some bay leaves, I think. So whatever you like to your taste, just give it a shot. I mean, 
Anywhere, the book says anywhere from one to four weeks this will be ready. We enjoy the three to four week range um, or longer. I might let it go longer uh, and see how it goes. But uh, coming up right now, let's get you to the taste test. Uh, Jenny and the kids taste tested the last batch that are now going in the fridge. So let's go check that out. And I just want to emphasize, we love these. These are great. Fermenting anything is awesome. Let's put this stuff in my special fermenting area. Jenny cleared off a section in here for me. Heck, I still have some. I fermented these quite a long time ago. And they've been sitting in here for a long time. They should still be good. I kind of want to make hot sauce out of them. Although it has been getting hot, but as you can tell, I mean, they look all right to me. We'll have to see. We'll have to pull those out and see. But they'll sit in here for two, three, four weeks and we'll eat them. Okay, so here's the final product. Uh, this is the first time I think I've cut them into spears instead of leaving them whole, but I can get a whole lot more in here. Um, and this one with the pink top, uh, this one with the pink top, I added a whole bunch of red pepper flakes. I don't think I added anywhere near enough. We got these from masontops.com and we used off grid with Doug and Stacy's code, which I believe is off grid is the code and you get 10% off uh, getting these and um, we love them. Now the most important part. So everybody take a chunk of the regular. Are they good? Mm -hmm. On this batch, I put a lot of garlic in. Hey, Grace, were those good? Is that good, Faith? Yeah. You guys like them? Yeah. Okay. I mean, we we've, yeah. we've made these before, so I mean, the, the kids are, are all used to. It. Okay, what's the spicy? Grab spice. Do it to it. We tasted these about a week ago and we didn't think they were quite ready and they had a little bit of after kick. These are good. Yeah. There's a little bit of heat. It's not bad. So I gotta but I gotta ramp it up. It does change the flavor. Oh, okay. Um, it's good. I like Is these the flavor nice. change? I personally don't care for it as much. Okay. But it is a nice different flavor. That is good. Faith, yeah. hold on. What, Grace? I like these a lot. Oh, okay. So you guys like them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You like the spicy ones? Yeah. yeah. Was there any spice? Yeah. yeah. There There's a, a little, little bit. bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. It doesn't send you running for a drink, but it's there. Cool. That's what we were looking for. So maybe I did about the right amount of... That's right. Good. What's up there, cheese boy? <laughs> <laughs> much better face than the one I just made. Yeah. What? I want to. Okay, we can probably, well these are probably, do you think they're done fermenting? It's been about three weeks, yeah. the, the flavor about right? Yep. The book, the book calls, the book calls for, uh, I think to taste, I think the book says two to four weeks. Yeah, I think these are good. Okay. Ready for the fridge. Ready for the fridge that we don't have any room in. That we don't have any room because it's full of jars, mostly pickles. <laughs> Alright guys, we'll get these in the fridge. Yeah, you guys need to be eating a lot of these for lunch because in two to four more weeks yeah. we'll have some more ready. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, maybe we take these to the hoot nanny. Yeah. No. Yeah. No, I want, I want to have some for lunch today. All right. <laughs>